New tonight, the end of an era as Highland Park is set to close its last remaining high school, much to the disappointment of students and parents. Simon Shaykat has the story from Highland Park. Tonight, students and parents are venting their frustration. Many feel the school district has simply failed them. Each student has a choice to go anywhere. Facing his skeptics, Highland Park School's emergency manager, Don Weatherspoon, has a tough sell. It's his decision to close the city's last remaining high school later this month, forcing 160 students to find a new school. And with that, new friends, new teachers, new lesson plans. I'm really sad. Like, I love this school. Like, it's a nice, small environment. Everybody know each other in the neighborhood, so for us to, like, split up and move away from each other is real sad. I'm really going to miss all my teachers, and I worry about going to another school and not liking it. I'm going to miss them, and um, they probably feel the same way that I do. Tonight, parents at Renaissance Academy High School have the chance to vent their frustrations. I don't think this should close it. We got enough uh, black schools closed as it is. I think it's terrible, man, because, uh, you know, now the schools are going to get overcrowded. They, they got to get bussed out or shipped out, and it's going to cause great inconvenience. Meanwhile, dozens of representatives from other schools also are here to do recruiting, promising new opportunities and even transportation for kids. I don't think when a school closes in a community, it's a good thing for anybody. But I think the reality is and what they've looked at here in Highland Park is they've got to make some decisions. And one of the good things that's happening tonight is they're opening up um, their resources here for other schools to come in and talk to their parents. Facing our cameras, Highland Park Schools emergency manager says there are no plans to close any other schools. But he maintains closing this school is not about money. Just listen to his explanation. If we had more money, no, we could not keep the school going because it's about the number of students who are enrolled. Teachers and other staff are also going to be looking into new jobs. Meantime, we're told the school will shut down officially on the 30th. From Highland Park, Simon Shaykett, 7 Action News.